It's the first Friday of the month and it's time for a new Flower Circus show. A little bit of a different lineup this time. I'm back myself. The Flower Circus director is doing uh, the show today. Martin is taking the role of John. And luckily we have a great designer again today. That's Geertje Steenstra. We're going to make some fantastic designs, some beautiful designs. Uh, John is not here. He's uh, on a trip. Actually, we had a live show yesterday in Romania, a great live show. Hopefully, we can get them in the stream together with uh, Max as well, so that they can uh, tell what they did over there. But for now, uh, let's go uh, to Geertje. But first, uh, we will send out our love to, uh, to Martin, one of the, the Flower Circus designers. Uh, uh, we heard the news uh, today about you. We were thinking about you and, uh, and your whole family. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, quickly go to, uh, to the show and, uh, and to Geertje. So uh, let's get her in. And there she is. Geertje, welcome. How are you? I'm fine, and you? Yeah, not too bad. So uh, please tell us uh, how many designs are you going to make and, and what are you going to, uh, yeah, the theme. Tell us more about the theme. Yeah, the theme is uh, uh, upcycling, so I uh, make uh, arrangement base uh, uh, for arrangements with uh, uh, stuff that is throwing away. Uh, I, get, uh, in, I work a lot of the garden centers and I picked all the uh, stuff out of the containers. And uh, there I make uh, seven uh, designs uh, for this hour. Uh, two bouquets and uh, now a, little, uh, a lot of uh, different uh, arrangements. Yeah. The first. Great. Yeah. So let's uh, let's start. So um, yeah, we're talking a lot about uh, being greener and so on and so on. And that people say, why are you using plastic in your designs? I think it's important uh, to recycle stuff. Also, uh, plastic itself isn't bad for the environment. Only if we throw it away after one time. So using and reusing things and upcycling things, I think that's a great idea. And and Geertje, uh, I can already see. Uh, that you're starting, but at first I would like to know how you did uh, the base. How did you uh, make the base and what, it, uh, what is it? Uh, what material are you upcycling? Yeah, this is a, a base, this is a, a web. Uh, it's uh, made from, um, yeah, it is a, a difficult name, but it is a pond uh, uh, foil. Uh, yeah. uh, it's thrown away by the gardener, uh, it's thrown away. And uh, this is like this. This pieces, rubber or something, and uh, I made uh, this uh, all these pieces and made, and then I uh, this is an iron pin wire, and all I stuck it uh, on this same wire, and when that was finished, I placed this base of bread on a, on a base of wood and uh, a plate, and also uh, on top of the plate. I did some uh, styrofoam also, um, I uh, reused that yeah. and I covered it uh, handmade pa uh, paper, this also wrapping paper Yeah. and I covered with uh, uh, the whole base first and then I did the bread on the base and uh, in the styrofoam I made some holes in it for the glass tubes. Okay. Construction. Marta. Can, can yes. you zoom in? Can you zoom in a bit so we can see more of the construction because it's uh, it's a very interesting uh, construction. I see. Yeah, we are. Don't, yeah, don't here we are. Too, please don't move too quick. Yeah, there we are. Oh, so we can see the glass tubes. It's and they are in the styrofoam, I think. Yes. Make a hole with a knife, and then I put the glass. Uh, I have two different uh, sizes of glass tubes small and uh, medium uh, glass tubes and I put it in the, the styrofoam and then I put flowers in also in the construction of uh, the bread. Okay, wow, really nice. Thank you, Martin. Martin, you're looking sharp, by the way, in your suit. Thank you. <laughs> Finally, people can see me more than just until yeah. here. So, yeah, I'm here. Hi, guys. <laughs> Thank you for joining. Yeah, we got the first uh, viewers in who are uh, reacting. Uh, Anna is in. Hello from Ukraine, my favorite theme. Thanks for talking uh, about it and educating us in the same time, inspiring and entertaining. Uh, Sally Hardy, friend of the show, is in as well. Hello, all you magical people from Berkshire, UK. 
we've got uh, Iwona in. Iwona is uh, sending uh, love. Uh, hello, my florist friends, he says. We've got Evelyn in from Estonia. Uh, Kirsten van Dijk is in as well, saying sparkling. So i uh, got more and more people in. And uh, please let me know where you're from. And uh, how's the weather over there? And, and uh, what do you think about the theme as well, the upcycling theme? Is it something you already do in your flower shop or during events? Uh, we've got Anja in saying hi from Finland. I think the most busiest man in the floral industry at the moment is even watching as well. Morgana. Morgan is oh. saying hello, beautiful people. Much love to you. Geertje Stienstra. Morgan is uh, organ or he's organizing. He's helping out with uh, the World Championship next week, so he is doing a lot of work over there from the sixth until the ninth in Manchester. Uh, a lot of flower circus designers will be there as well. So if you want to meet our designers uh, while you're there, uh, yeah, please do so and uh, and talk because you've got the favorite theme to talk about. It's flowers. Uh, we've got uh, Lower Ben Floral Art Society in saying hi from Northern Ireland. Love, love, no, my tongue, my tongue doesn't do what I want. Love <laughs> to see you. <laughs> uh, Morgan is saying sorry, can't stay long, but wanted to say hi. Uh, good luck, uh, Morgan, this week with all the preparations. Hopefully you get get some sleep. Uh, Carla Raut Martin is in. Hello from Estonia. Mindy is in saying hello from Northern Ireland. Uh, we've got a lot of people from Northern Ireland, actually. Sandra Abbott oh. is in as well. Hello. Uh, well, hello from Inspirations in Northern Ireland. Uh, Cindy is in. Hello, Geertje and all the team from Paris, friends. We've got, oh. uh, we've got somebody, actually, who was at the show yesterday. Florile, Florile Aline saying hello from Romania. How nice to see you today again. Uh, Vicky Hees is in, also a friend of the show, saying hi from Suffolk, reusing and recycling in my demonstrating and teaching. Always good to see other ideas. Love the use of the pond liner scraps. Uh, wow. You... If I may ask, I'm very curious, how was the show in Romania? Yeah. Maybe it's, maybe you can tell us, give, them, give us some, some updates. Of course, we know from John and from Max how it was, but how do you like, did you enjoy the show? We're so curious. Yeah, let, let us know. Uh, Johan Henderson uh, saying hello from Belfast. We've got Iwona in from Poland. We've got Grant Collins in all the way from Victoria, Australia. Good wow. evening. We've got Manja in. Manja saying uh, Bloemengroetjes uit Venlo, the south of oh. Holland. Also friend of the show. Well, Geertje is, uh, is using a lot of different white flowers, different shapes as well. Uh, and I think one of the nice thing of using good flowers, what she's doing right now, is that um, we are using the Baltica uh, from the breeder Deliflor and the, the grower Beyond Grisante. If you see the amount of flowers on one stem, Geertje uh, already took a lot of flowers from that stem. So it's easy. You only need a few stems for such a big arrangement, which is really nice. Uh, long lasting as well, a Baltica. It's the most popular chrysanthemum out there at the moment. And it's available in different colors, not only white, also yellow, cream, pink, salmon. And I forgot one, and that's the uh, lime. Um, Geertje is also using uh, the Lysianthus. Oh, wow. Look at the stem. This one is untouched. She didn't use this one. So look at the amount of stems, especially if you're making arrangements with, for example, flower uh, foam to, to cover big areas. This is a great flower to use. And if you need to use more details, just take the flowers that are a little bit below the, the, the biggest flowers. Then you can make some really nice details as well. Uh, Geertje is also using the Alyssa Pure White. Um, here, showing it here in the stream from Lucht Lysiantes. There's actually, if you don't like the pure, pure white, because sometimes it's difficult to combine it, especially if it's in a bouquet with other colors, there's also the Alyssa White. In comparison to the pure white, it looks a bit creamy, but trust me, it's also white. 
so just looking at which one is best. Also here, look at the amount of flowers and also Geertje probably took some side shoots already from there. Um, yep. We've got more people in Geertje. Sorry, I'm talking quite a lot, but uh, we've got Cat uh, Devaux in. Deva. Uh, bonjour de France. We've got uh, Anina Kukola in from Finland. We've got Taylor in from Belly Money. Uh, oh, lovely to yeah. see your demonstration. Uh -huh. uh, we've got Anne Marie uh, in saying Bonjour de Normandie. We've got oh, Anne Marie. Cool. Yeah, we've got Susie Middleton in saying hello from Maryland in the US. Uh, we've got uh, Rene in from the Philippines. So we've got the whole world of flower uh, enthusiasts yeah. watching. So how cool is that? So we've got Valentina in saying I'm from uh, Sardegna. So she's in as well saying hello. We've got Italy in as well. Fabiola saying Buongiorno di Italia, Trento. Ciao bella. So, wow, good thing for some of the people watching is that we are on tour again. Uh, yesterday, like I said, we were in Romania, but we're going to do some other shows uh, this month as well. So uh, September 20th, we will be in Norwich in the UK, Flower Vision, doing two shows. The 26th, we will be in Sweden. And the 4th of October, we will be in Lancashire, UK, Flower Vision. October 6th, we have an online show again. But if you don't see your country in this list, but you want to have a show, uh, contact us, info at flowercircus.nl. And who knows, soon we will be uh, close to you as well, so you can see the demonstration live. Well, this one is this arrangement. I the last, I look at the last, Less jukes, but I think this one's not. Try not Shall to I move it too much, uh, Geertje, because it, uh, the microphone doesn't really like it in my ears. <laughs> Shall I um, give you uh, some details? Yes, please, because I think, uh, like Geertje said, we're nearly finished with this one, uh, so it would be really nice to see uh, the details. There we go. Wow. I like the wax flower, wax flower as well, the Gamalausium. Um, it's actually the beginning of the season again in, in South Africa. So uh, more and more is uh, available now. Really big flowers, actually, this one. Geertje, how do you make sure you don't forget one of the tubes to put some flowers in it? Well, uh, look good. <laughs> <laughs> Check, check, double check. Check, check, double check. Yeah, that's the good. That's the only. Uh, yeah, sometimes you put um, when you do a glass tube in the in the styrofoam, then you can also do a small uh, bunch of or uh, how is it? Just, just stuff. some sticks. Yeah. Yes. But that I forgot. <laughs> now it's. Uh, wow, it's. Really nice, and look at the the size of the the Lysianthus flowers. Yeah, I love them. They are gorgeous. They're almost yeah. roses. Yeah, the size of the beautiful rose. Uh, Rene is saying, "I'm really getting inspired every time you have a live demo." So every first Friday of the month, I mean, we have these uh, demos. Vicky, thank you very much. She's saying it's also good to have you back, John. Uh, yeah, back again. So uh, it, it's good. And uh, there are a lot of new things coming up. We're working on a lot of new ideas. So uh, you will hear uh, more from me and more from Flower Circus in the future. Well, the last flower. Ta da! It's finished. Wow. Really, really nice. Here we go. And we've got Vanessa Henderson in, is in as well, saying hello from Birmingham, UK. We've got uh, Terry in saying uh, nice to be here from Washington, DC. 
Bao. But look at the size of the uh, the arrangement, and if you just see how many flowers Geertje used, I mean that's that's a commercial work. Kirsten van Dijk is showing uh, how nice it is. It's not it's not heavy. I understand uh, the emoji, uh, Kirsten, but it was not a heavy piece. Normally, normally Geertje. Especially during live shows, Geert, you tend to make really heavy uh, designs when I need to show it around. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, this is the second uh, of bouquet. And I made a, a frame, um, you can see the frame of uh, yeah. materials. And then I used uh, two different materials. That's a styrofoam. Yeah and uh leather and this uh, leather i uh years ago i think about it was in 2005 uh i was doing uh the uh, dutch championship and i made a flower of a uh, 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 dress from uh, uh leather and i went to a fabric and they did were the leftovers this is, was trash and i saw that i think okay can i uh, can i have it of course and uh, now and now it work. It looks ten years later. It, it looks like the material where they clean, clean the windows. The windows. Yeah, yeah, that's the same. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And um, the second uh, uh, part uh, for the frame is uh, styrofoam, and that I found um, uh, in the garden center. They unpacking all the all the stuff for Christmas, and um, well, I saw all the styrofoam, and I made uh, nice shapes of it. And I do that with, uh, where is the, the styrofoam? Kirsten is asking if it's uh, chamois, chamois, chamois. Sorry for my pronunciation, but it is, uh, I know what it is. And, and yes, that, that's it. That's the, the, the type of leather. Uh, Caroline Master Forster is in as well, saying greetings from London. Fab to see you all. And while uh, Geertje is uh, trying her uh, Harry Potter skills. <laughs> oh. um, um. It's not working, but that's sometimes what happens. Well, this, this styrofoam, you can do it with a knife, but then you have a lot of mess. Like this, this, you have like this, yeah. this uh, all pieces. And this is a, a hot uh, yeah, pin. And uh, you... feels like a warm knife. Yes. Why? I don't know. Uh... Um, it's okay. not working. Oh, well, Wait, normally you cut, you one. cut this with this knife and then you can easy to uh, make shapes on the. I will put it in the, in the um, electric and we're okay. going to try yeah. it later. Yeah. No, or we ask Harry Potter to do it uh, next time. <laughs> you have to say the magic word, Simsalabim. Focus, focus. Yes. Always worked it, and now in the show, it worked. Yeah. But okay. But well, so then you can... uh, styrofoam, and then I uh, glued it with this uh, leather, and I make a frame of it. Two uh, wooden pins. I uh, do it through the to the, the styrofoam, and with that uh, rustic wire, I make a, a, a frame. Uh, well, more. Uh, yeah, how do you call that? Uh, more sturdy. Sturdy, oh, yeah. stable, yes. And now uh, I do the flowers in. I did already did a very beautiful uh, hortensia, hortensia. It's the the the, um, the frame has a beautiful um, structure. It almost looks like very big leaves. And shall I give you a close up? What do you think, John? Yes, please give me a close up while uh, Terry is asking, uh, what is that tool called? It's called broken, uh, Terry. <laughs> no, I, I, uh, what, what's the tool called? It's a hot, it's a hot needle. Hot pin, yeah, and hot needle. Yeah. Okay. Of course, styrofoam. Um, we get some more questions in. Let's see if I can. Can you put on the close up, John? Yeah, sorry. No problem. There we go. Yeah. Do you see? It's almost. It looks almost like like dried leaves. 
Yeah, it looks really beautiful. Yeah, it's very beautiful, natural, and um, yeah, especially for this season, end of summer. Can imagine it will be look also very nice with with orange colors, brown colors, pumpkins, that kind of stuff. Yeah. Well, Christopher Dyke is asking, uh, what's the cultivar of the hydrangea? The hydrangea cultivar is called, uh, let me check one more time so I don't make a mistake, Glowing Alps Dark Pink. Glowing Alps Dark Pink. Uh, I will, here I have it in detail. It's a really beautiful color. It's a very strong one as well. Yeah. Well, Vicky is saying I love the, the use of leather scraps and styrofoam. I mean, uh, just to make shapes and things, I think styrofoam is like, okay, why should you buy it? I think you can get it everywhere. If you have a new type of TV or radio or whatever, just store it somewhere. And especially with the hot needle, if it works, you can make it into any shape you want. So that's really called upcycling. Um, and we are also using some really nice uh, Zentadicia uh, or color lilies. I will show you in the meanwhile. Yeah. Really nice. Uh, the strongest part of those stems is the white part. If you cut the white part off, uh, what you tend to see is that the stem uh, starts curling up. To prevent it, you can put some uh, tape around it so it doesn't curl up. But if you leave the white part uh, there, it even uh, prolongs the uh, vase life a bit because there's some uh, some food in it or nutrition in it. So uh, try to buy, if you buy them, try to buy the direct, uh, the length you're going to use them in as well. Don't try to buy half uh, or 30 centimeters longer. Just buy uh, the length you need. So if you think you need 60 centimeters bouquet, buy 60 centimeters. Don't buy 80, 90 centimeters. Kirsten is saying another based uh, material option to styrofoam is layered cardboard. Uh, it's everywhere. It's everywhere, even in this show, Kirsten. But that's, uh, that's going to be uh, uh, a little bit later in the show. Yeah, also, oh, oh my gosh, oh. sorry. <laughs> You're killing. Yeah, Renee is asking, uh, are those Antidesia are natural color or spray paint? No, these are the natural colors. We actually uh, almost never use uh, painted colors or painted flowers, sorry. Uh, I think especially with, with the colors available, it, it's not always necessary to, to get painted uh, flowers. Maybe if it's something the client asks, but especially now in summertime with so many beautiful uh, flowers available, different kind of flowers, uh, you can always find a flower in the color that you need. Well, Geertje is cutting uh, the stems for the uh, bouquet. Geertje, yeah. you are you, you are using wire for the for the bouquets. It's something things that I uh, ask, is it uh, just wire or uh, it looks like there's some iron wire in it, is it? It's not the best, but uh, yeah, you can use every, uh, you can use rope, you can use elastic, uh, you can use, uh, this one is uh, perfect for con constructions, make constructions, but uh, also I use it for uh, the bouquets. Yeah. yeah. You can do uh, you can uh, make different use different materials for uh, the bouquets, but uh, also use this uh, this one. Yeah, I think it's important if you want to show quality or or that it's uh, your artwork. Don't use uh, rubber band or uh, even worse uh, some scotch to finish off your bouquet because I think it's uh, doesn't do your work uh, well if you just finish off with some uh, some scotch. Thank you. 
Wow, it's really beautiful. The uh, enters in there is uh, Alyssa Pink. Again, the, the Alyssa varieties are the varieties with the really uh, big flowers. Um, and I like the way how you see all the different shapes of flowers. So we've got uh, the hydrangea, we've got again the, the wax flower there as well, Hamalousium, the Lysianthus, uh, the Xanthodesia. So there's something happening in all parts of the bouquet. So uh, you keep on looking at it. So it's, it's really, really beautiful. Well, this one is finished. Yeah. Uh, Akirinzema uh, Himstra, probably it's from, uh, it's your neighbor or close to you. Uh, Geertje, prachtig boeken. Dankjewel, Akke. Uh, Kirsten van Dijk is in, in love with the bouquet. Vicky Hees is saying super. So, uh, yeah, the, the next one is going to be interesting as well because uh, we were drinking a lot of beers in, <laughs> before the show started. It's iced tea, but. Uh, no, it was beer. Okay. Or champagne. Okay. Yeah. Well, this one uh, I made a little. Yeah, it's very cheap to of easy. To, uh, it's easy to make. It's very cheap uh, for uh, the materials. This are these are cans. Yeah, the uh, tin cans. cans. Yeah. And um, I uh, every can have uh, another color. I can you can paint it. You can cover it with dry material. This is uh, I covered with uh, paper, but you can also uh, use other dry material. And I think the combination you see different. Um, um, uh, coverings, but uh, if you put it together, it's uh, one uh, arrangement. And I uh, glued it on uh, on wood, some moss in it, and then with a few flowers, you can have a very nice and funny arrangement. And this is a big one. We can also make a smaller one, smaller piece. Yeah, it's very. It's Maybe I can give a close up from the the um, uh, so you can see the materials on the cans. There I am. Here you can see the green one, the light green, and this is the one she uh, glued with the paper and some moss in between. And she even kept on the. And it's a very st sustainable arrangement. It's it's a very sustainable arrangement. We used to say uh, yeah, the cans you throw away, but uh, because because of a new law in Holland. Uh, yeah, there is uh, some money involved now. So uh, when you buy uh, a, a can of uh, soda, you also pay, I think it's how many cents? I don't even know. 50, 50, 50. 50 cents or 20 so, cents? Okay. So 15 cents. So you get that 15 cents back when you uh, bring it back to the supermarket. So uh, we used to say this was a, a, a free base, but now it's like uh, how many? It's almost... Uh, one euro oh. for material there. <laughs> yeah. uh, Morgan is saying, Geertje Steenstra, can you please stop being so amazing? I can't stop oh. watching. I absolutely, absolutely adore your work and obviously adore you too. Oh, thank you, Morgan. Okay, we give her some, some. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Show the yeah, We're gonna I love. I don't know if it's typical Dutch, but it will make her happy yeah. today. <laughs> <laughs> Are you saying I love the idea and the texture? You want to sending a, a heart as well, so uh, yeah, looking really nice. We're using another flower there as well. It's called the phlox. Not everybody knows uh, the phlox, but I think it's a fantastic flower. Uh, when you buy them, maybe you have one or two open flowers on the stem. Can you show the stem which is really closed, uh, Maarten? Yeah, just see the, the yeah, just look at the white spikes, and that will be a whole bouquet of flowers on itself. So in in ten days, it's going to be amazing. It's going to be almost like a hydrangea in terms of flowers. I will show you just a picture of a, a mixed vase. I think this is after three or four days on the vase. You can see how many flowers are already opening. So this is a flower that really uh, you enjoy watching while your uh, bouquet or arrangement evolves throughout the time. I mean, I love bouquets where, uh, for example, lilies are opening, but also 
the flocks giving new flowers every day. So the whole arrangement is changing every time uh, you wake up in the morning and go downstairs and you see that the arrangement and it's really changing. Uh, let me see what well, we have more. We've got uh, Daily Florin saying, uh, love the idea is the material of those cans, no problem for the flowers. That's a good question, actually. This is no problem for the flowers. No, because no. she cleaned them and she, yeah, uh, yeah she, uh, she cleaned them before. And of course, um, um, how, uh, help me, John, help me out with the words. Um, she cleaned it with alcohol, so she, um, she cleaned normally you clean the vases so yeah, i'm going to say it in dutch uh <laughs> she cleaned them and all the bacteria yeah. she, she killed she killed all the bacteria uh yeah. with it. um yeah. i i can understand the question or or i think i understand the question because sometimes with uh you, you had the problem many years ago with the tin uh buckets it looked really nice in your flower shop but it polluted uh, the water uh, but yeah, obviously the cans uh, filled with soda, if uh, the cans pollute the water, it will also pollute the soda. So you're not, allowed, you're not able to drink it. So there's no problem uh, using your flowers in these, uh, these cans. No, and of course, um, I think she also, maybe she means the, she's talking about the sugars, like when there are, when there's Coke or something in it and of course uh before you use them you have to rinse them with maybe some uh uh, uh yeah bacterial kill killer uh, stuff like um florix yeah 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 uh, the flowers get to burn yeah vicky is saying we used to have money back years ago when uh, we returned glass bottles some of the old days are good uh, yeah, in Holland, it's uh, the tin cans now, the bottles, uh, plastic bottles, everything. So uh, money back on, on most of the things. Well, Kirsten van Dijk is saying about uh, the flocks, such a great scent uh, in this flower, uh, a garden flower. It's a great flower to have in your garden as well. And there are so many different colors available. Uh, Judy Wal uh, Watker is saying, uh, loving your design, so inspirational. Um, Kirsten, Kirsten van Dijk is, is giving a good point uh, or saying a good point. Uh, maybe use some moss tucked in as a buffer between the stems and the sharp edge. Yeah, if you really push too many flowers in it, the sharp edge can yeah. be a problem. But now only with a few flowers, no, this is uh, no problem. Enough space. Yeah. yeah. And we're at the end of the bouquet and now we finally got the word. Uh, luckily, we've got some really smart viewers. Sterilized the can. It's Yes, sterilized. that's sterilized. sterilized. Thank yes. you. <laughs> Always love our uh, viewers. <laughs> so for the people who don't know yet, uh, all the designs we are making, they will be in the lookbook. And the lookbook you can download from our website or if you register for the show on the website, we will send you the lookbook uh, by the end of this week. We've got uh, Anna who is making uh, our lookbooks and they are really fantastic really every time it looks better and better so uh if you want to see some details some of the techniques uh yeah, you can download the lookbook from the website flowercircus.nl um, and as i uh, mentioned earlier uh, in the show or when we started the show uh, our thoughts today are with uh, martin groen and his family uh, because the news he heard uh, martin is uh, is ill uh, very ill and uh martin we want to uh yeah, support you in uh, we want to uh give you uh, this bouquet that uh, geertje now is make, making our thoughts uh, all with you um yeah that's actually i don't know i don't have the words i mean a fantastic man uh working in the flower industry has done a world championship for holland and i think that the, the nicest thing was that he's was not only working for himself for his own uh, flower shop because they have a great flower shop uh, run with his uh, family and, and workers, but he he is doing or he did so many things for uh, the whole industry. Uh, the demos he was really out there to to learn people new techniques. He was part of the Dutch florist organization, uh, which is going to organize in 2025 uh, World Championships. 
So uh, the bouquet uh, Geertje is making now uh, is, uh, is coming your way. I hope uh, it gives you uh, some support and some love uh, from all of us uh, from Flower Circus. So, for me, this is a bouquet that uh, represents the style of Martin a bit with uh, the finir that he, uh, he used uh, quite some sometimes. So, uh, I use a technique uh, from uh, Martin. Yeah. Fine here, and uh, I bring it to you this uh, today, the bouquet of flowers. We are Martin. Really beautiful bouquet. Thank you for that, uh, Geertje. Yes, yes. Oh, yes. And now uh, we go to the to the next one. Uh, um, Kirsten already said it uh, that uh, cardboard can be a, a great base as well. I think uh, Kirsten is one of the viewers who's always busy with. Uh, <laughs> we're getting new materials. Uh, yeah. Very cheap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you want to do you want to go in? <laughs> so, so uh, what did... well, uh, I used um, um, cotton of uh, yeah, cardboard cardboard yeah. from boxes. There is enough, plenty of it, and uh, this base I made. It is I base the, I re reuse this uh, uh, a lot. Uh, and uh, I glued it all different kinds of materials on it. And now I use this uh, cardboard and uh, very quick to make. Uh, you glue it with like, like this pieces. And then you glue it uh, now inside, outside uh, the box. And uh, then the rest of it, it I put, go, put in the box. And then I uh, used glass tubes in. I put it in also inside the frame of the base. And, and you uh, ate a lot of chocolates because I can see some gold it's here not too. Chocolate, it's yeah. not chocolate. Tell it's us, what chocolate. is it? Yeah, uh, yeah. Gold, yeah, blood Oh, gold. okay, so it's pure It's pure gold. So you're using carton with gold? Well, I want to make it a little bit um, special. Okay, Yeah. okay, so some luxury to some garbage. Yeah. Yes. Okay, interesting. Um, Geertje is a fancy girl. She's even uh, uh, reusing, upcycling her golden uh, wedding ring. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm showing the, um, the gold. Oh, one second. Maybe. Yeah. Yep, there we go. Yeah, for what I thought it was the chocolate. I love the chocolates who are wrapped in the gold. So I thought immediately thought she's using the gold. Yeah, but... you can use also that, I think, yeah. 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 Really nice. And and those are the details which you can see in the lookbook as well. So uh, when we have the lookbook and then, of course, on social media as well. If you don't follow us uh, yet, just uh, check us out on, on YouTube, on Facebook, Instagram. We are uh, we are everywhere, even TikTok. It's all about inspiration in all different kinds of ways. We have Dr. Van Bloem there telling you about flowers. We have uh, how short how to make videos in one minute to make a great, uh, impressive design, uh, which doesn't take you too much effort. So we're really here to inspire you with some commercial ideas, also with different themes, like uh, Stefan did last month, uh, based on fashion and designs. He even came up with uh, a Barbie themed uh, thing. The first thing Geertje said, I want to do the show, but I don't want to dress up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, every time we have a different theme during these shows, so every time you will see something different, different designers, but also different themes, different flowers, uh, just to inspire you every time when you come to this show. Uh, Terry is asking, uh, what's the support on the bottom? Is it a metal tray? No, it's from wood. Yeah, it's flexible uh, wood. Yeah, maybe you... Uh... Oh, wait, I can, uh, can already show it. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, and you use some tape? Yeah. Yeah, 
Oh, and there are some feet. This, these are using, okay, yeah. Yeah, just to get the, the design a little bit off the table. Yeah. Really nice. Uh, we've some... got uh, Franca in saying hello, Geertje. Hi, Franca. <laughs> Franca, I've been trying to get into the show already for a long time. So, Franca, first Friday of the month, now that everybody is watching, you name a date and we would reserve a spot for you because franca is also a very talented designer so uh, hopefully we can get franca in the show as well you make beautiful work yeah uh, manja is asking have you net carton bewerkt ingespot of dergelijk tegen uh, het vocht did you spray the yeah. or did you treat the, the cardboard against any uh, you know, so uh, moist <laughs> it's pure natural just uh, don't fill up the tubes too much uh, Manja, then uh, you don't spill the water, so then it should be okay. Uh, good question from uh, Vanessa and Anderson. She is saying, I get uh, people asking me every so often whether putting sugar or lemonade in the flower vase actually helps them last longer. Has anybody ever tried? Yes, we tried. tried. We tried many times. Um, the actually the actual flower food is the best what you can do because yes, it's true that uh let me get me myself in the, the stream as well it's true that flowers need uh sugar sugars only uh, people also need sugars but there are good uh, sugars and bad sugars the thing is with sugar it helps also the bacteria to grow and grow really fast and what a flower doesn't like is bacteria so with flower food it's a balanced thing that uh there's something against bacteria there's flour there's uh, sugars in it so yes, at a certain point, uh, sugars help, but it doesn't help. Uh, it helps the the flowers, but it also helps the bacteria. So in the end, it it doesn't help at all. So flower food is really the best thing to do. Uh, and to be honest, it's not too expensive if you're buying or selling a bouquet of fifty uh, euros, dollars, pounds, or whatever. Uh, it's just a few cents to to give away some flower food. And there are different types of flower food as well uh, for the growers. Some of the growers give flower food as well. I know for a fact that uh, Lucht with the Lysiantes is giving flower food after the harvest, uh, just to make sure the flowers look better in terms of color, because it also helps with color, uh, in terms of vase life, in terms of opening the flowers. Uh, the same uh, is for the, the phlox because the phlox is also a flower that evolves during time. Uh, Lysiantus is opening up more flowers, phlox is opening up more flowers, so they need uh, the sugars, but really they need uh, the flower food, the real, what is meant to be uh, uh, yeah, the sugars that we need to give to, to the flowers. So uh, long story short, people think it helps even a dime to put in the water, and there, there are so many things uh or to put in the water to kill the bacteria. uh flower food and and doesn't even matter what brand but uh just get flower food because it's a balanced mix of all those things together um kirsten van dyke is saying a splash of vodka never hurts uh that's true i don't know if it's for the flowers but it never hurt at me and if i got hurt after vodka i didn't feel it so <laughs> it also helped. <laughs> Franca is saying uh, thank you for the invite. I don't see any dates yet, Franca, but uh, <laughs> we will figure that out after the show. Uh, and we go, uh, wow, this is really nice. We've got a new chrysanthemum in there. It's called, it's named after a melon, Cantaloup. And it has the, the same color of the melon as well. Really nice one, just on the market. I think it was this week. Uh, and it's really a bright combination of those colors with uh, also the Santini. And the Santini is called uh, Lubov, the Hydrangea. Uh, it's really nice. It has the, the, the bright edges, the Santini uh, there. So it really gives some depth in the flowers. The Flux is also bicolored. So, uh, wow, it's a, it's a shiny and bright uh, arrangement. Um, let me go out because we got more comments. I think about. Uh, I'm the wearing the well. 
Yeah. Uh, more things about, yeah, wow. More things about flower food. When I was lecturing floristry students, we carried out experiments with sugar, lemonade, flower food, bleach, and copper pennies. Flower food was the winner. Uh, that was a much shorter story than I did, uh, Vicky. Thank you for that. Um, uh, somebody uh, told a long story. Uh, we'll do that later. Uh, then we have uh, Caroline Marshall Foster. Uh, if somebody knows about flowers, then it's her. Giving flower food is a no brainer in terms of customer satisfaction and the no cut version is a game changer. Uh, yeah, that's something uh, we all learned as florist or uh, the older florist that we had, have to cut the stems before we put them on water. But there is now flower food that you don't have to cut your stems anymore and you can put them directly on water. So it saves a lot of time. So that's uh, like, like Caroline said, it's, that's really a game changer. Uh, me still being old fashioned, I want to have a sharp cut uh, to my flowers uh, anyway, to make sure uh, it works. Uh, I've got a question. How many flowers are there inside uh, the tubes? Is it two, three, four, five on average? Um, you see, it's, oh, oh no, okay. <laughs> Where do you want to go, Kirchi? Last tube. Yeah. And there are strong flowers. If you put some roses in it, then I think one rose for one tube, last tube. Yeah. It also the depends song. on how, how thick the stem is, of course. Uh, yeah. Here we've got a picture of uh, Lubov, a detailed picture of Lubov, the, the Santini. And you can see the edges are uh, a bit lighter. Great contrast with, uh, with the green center. It's from a breeder at Delhi Floor. They, uh, they came up with a lot of new varieties and not a lot of new varieties are coming up as well. So uh, keep their socials uh, uh, or look at their socials regularly because there are some really nice things coming up. Wow, Heetje, really nice. A colorful arrangement. Okay, and I think, John, you have a special story about this one. You told me, so yeah. I don't know. I'm very curious. I only know them from the greenhouses. So what are you up to with it? I don't know. Uh, the grower of the, the Balticas, uh, which we showed earlier and which we're going to show uh, probably in the next uh, one of the next bouquets as well, um, replaced his old lights in the greenhouse. Uh, we all know, that for the people who saw this show more, uh, we all know what was happening uh, during the uh, uh, energy crisis last winter. Uh, but before I continue that story about uh, the lamp, we've got a special guest. So I first want to get uh, our special guest in. Uh, it's a it's a bit it's a bit noisy there because he's in the car. But uh, let let us get the the guest in. And there he is. We've got the special guest, Mr. John Koopman. Look, John. <laughs> I'm not sure if the connection is okay, okay. but. Uh... We're on our way to uh, Budapest. Yes. Max. Oh, ma petit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ça va. So, uh, ça, ça, ça va bien. Et toi, ça va? Ça va, Let's, ça va. Tell us about how was the show in Romania, John? The, the, show, the, the, the show was a total disaster, Max. <laughs> no, the, the, the show the show was great. The audience was fabulous. The hosts were fabulous. Alex and uh, Ioana, uh, her parents. Uh, the uh, the venue was a uh, sure a surprise because it looked fabulous. The weather was okay. Uh, the food, the drinks, uh, almost everything. So uh, except me and Max, but yeah. That's like what can you expect from two retards? <laughs> 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 uh, 
We can live in Romania as well because we have the same humor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and really good to hear that the show went well. Uh, we are looking forward to the pictures and the videos. Uh, we saw the yeah. first reactions yeah. on social media. They were great. Yeah. The pictures are on their way and they uh, already asked us for a show in May next year. So uh, maybe we could do something special then again. And uh, although I know you want to go there, uh, John, you would do us a great pleasure <laughs> if, if we, at least I am going again to Romania and the beautiful town of Oradia. Okay. So great. It was a big success after two and a half, after two and a half years of staying home, uh, listening to my wife and mother-in-law. And you know how I feel about my mother-in-law. <laughs> Great to hear the show went great, uh, John and, uh, and Max. Uh, I think we need to continue with our show. You're looking great, both. Big smile. Okay, yeah, that's okay. Good, uh, good luck to you, Matt. Good luck to your kids. See you soon. Bye bye. bye. So nice In to the see meanwhile, you. arrangement here, as you can see. Yeah, this is a base, also an old base. I reused this one. I cover it with uh, wrapping paper. It's also from the garden center. And this is, uh, they were unpacking uh, the, uh, the, 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 the Christmas items from glass, the ornaments, and uh, well, I cover it also, the cover it with, uh, on, the, on, the, on the base, uh, with uh, 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 yeah, glue, it's uh, wallpaper glue. Very simple, easy to make. And uh, this one, the, the glass. Uh, is it? Is it some of the jam? Well, it is. I have it uh, very long. Yeah. Well, uh, my or daughter, the baby foods. Baby foods. Oh, okay. Yes, it's yeah. for baby foods. And oh, there. My daughter is now uh, thirteen. Is I think about twelve years old. <laughs> okay, lovely. <laughs> hey, you can buy this uh, also um, in the supermarket with some yogurt in. Okay. Yeah. From okay. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna mention the brand, but. There is a small, small dessert, and that's sold in the small bottles. So Geertje is using a new variety. It's called Commander. Uh, normally, we say it's a single variety or a double variety, or uh, there are some shapes, and this is in between everything. But what I like a lot about Commander that uh, all the flowers are on top, all the flowers are open, and it combines really well with in bouquets in arrangements because of the really bright green, green center very strong we used it as well in romania and then what one of the things john and max mentioned directly was like wow the commander is really something great so uh yeah it, it, it looks really really nice and uh, if you haven't tried it yet uh i would highly recommend to uh, to try it um, we've got uh, the cantaloupe in there as well. And what do we have more there? We have the, the Elysiantus uh, light apricot. Uh, let me see if I can get a nice picture. Uh, yeah. if, oh, that's, uh, that, that's the cantaloupe. Also a beautiful flower. Let me see. Yeah, the Alyssa light apricot. Here we've got it. So it, it's, it's combining really nice with the, with the cantaloupe. Well, I love this one. It's my favorite. This Lysiantus, this color. And I think it's also the very nice color, the combination with uh, white and uh, peach. I love and it. Cool. And that's something uh, I sometimes see that florists forget a little bit. It's like uh, combining flowers which have more or less the same vase life. So now that we know Lysiantus is a very strong flower, chrysanthemum is a really strong flower. Combining those together, uh, maybe even doing a flocks with it as well, because flocks has a long face life as well, makes that people enjoy not only the bouquet longer, but sometimes I see people putting in flowers which will last five days together with, with flowers that only open after five days. So try to keep that in mind as well as a florist. Be careful with the knife, Geertje. We need you for another few bouquets. Well, you are doing the show uh, in September, right? In Stockholm. Yeah, 
yes. Yeah, very excited about it. Uh, I, uh, I've been there for once uh, for uh, go to the, the ice hotel with uh, other florists. But now mm -hmm. I'm going to Stockholm. I'm very yeah. excited. It's, it's a, uh, is it, I don't know uh, the information about it, but is it, is it a wholesaler or? Uh... Yeah, it's a wholesaler. It's a, there's a wholesale market in, uh, in the center of Stockholm close to the center of Stockholm, where are more uh, flower wholesale uh, sailors based. And it is actually uh, a really nice one. They just uh, redid the whole place. So it's it's, it's really new and uh, it looks really nice. So uh, you know, everybody who's in the neighborhood, I invite them to come. Lucky you, she's going to Stockholm. It's still on my bucket list. And she's going there. So where are you sending me, John? <laughs> She's I'm getting sure. all the best. Actually, there was I, I forgot to, to put that one in the agenda because uh, you are going to France. Ah. Oh. Am I? Yeah, you're going to Tours. Ooh, ooh la la. With who so, am I going to France? With uh, Max, Monsieur Max. Oh, ma petite. <laughs> it's gonna be good. <laughs> Now we are. Uh, I'm finished. Uh, I covered also the the, the glasses with uh, paint, the same color as the uh, the paper, and also <coughs> make some details with the paper. And uh, this is the big variety. We can also make a smaller variety for in the shop. Yeah. So you can make something for every budget. Yes. It's also lovely for a wedding. I can imagine yeah. for a wedding on the yeah. table, on the standing tables yeah. maybe, and yeah, on the during lunch or dinner it's very cute and it's perfect that it's glued yeah yeah and don't forget also for the outside weddings or outside events uh, these flowers which we used can withstand the heat and the sun as well uh, daily for example is loving it uh, hans seilstra is saying uh, nice work geertje and good luck in stockholm thank you i hans. think there are there are two so. people watching on the same computer, so... Uh, <laughs> and we're already, you're flying, so uh, this is really going well. Yeah, we have another lot. How many time do we have? I've got, uh, we've got all the time of the world. Well, Morgan is, uh, is texting me now outside of the... Uh, <laughs> The broadcast he's saying i'm only starting my preparations now because of you <laughs> oh. morgan is going to do a presentation on the world championship so uh if you're there say hello from us and if he's making uh, one design less it's because of us <laughs> well the last uh, uh of one out of less i have a brother okay and first i make the okay this bouquet is a base of uh, wire and i used uh, yeah this is also uh, packing material for on on the boxes from the garden center it's the plastic strap material which is around boxes but, uh, the last couple of weeks at garden centers mm. and i think okay i have need to uh, i have to need uh, some materials and i ask so can, please i want some uh, give stuff. me the garbage yeah give me the garbage i think oh, what <laughs> <laughs> They thought silly she's woman, yeah, she's, she's going she's crazy. crazy yeah. Can you put it the right way? Because <laughs> actually, I, I, I'm, I'm just joking now because you, I, I knew you were going to put it the right way. Why are all the flowers? Uh, why do you do it like this? This technique. Uh, uh, you can uh, see the sh very good the shape of the frame. Yeah. Okay, we can also make a bright bouquet of, of uh, like this base uh, and you see all the lines you see all the material uh, of the packing uh, of the, yeah, the the garbage uh, i want to sh i want to show it yeah. and now you can see it also if you use the spiral technique the bouquet looks much bigger than just putting the stems uh, next to each other uh, which also helps uh, and Kennedy is saying, mucked up again on the timing, uh, UK is one hour ahead, so missed the start. Don't worry, Anne, uh, you can uh, watch the show again, it will be uh, uh, on YouTube and on Facebook. So you can see the beginning as well. 
Uh, this is bouquet number six. So uh, you missed five, five wonderful or six actually wonderful bouquets because you made a fantastic bouquet for uh, for Martin there as well. So uh, yeah, and for all the other people who came in later, uh, you can see the show a little bit later as well. And if you want to see the details, just go to uh, flowercircus.nl, register there uh, for this show, and uh, you will get the lookbook. And here we've got the, uh, the flocks. Wow. Yeah, I thought let's let's show it the beautiful flocks we have. I'm going to show it here. Look how lovely. The nice thing with the flocks is it's from Hogeboom uh, Flocks, flocks.nl. Uh, they are all in one. They do the breeding they, themselves. They do the testing themselves, and they grow them themselves. And they work together with a grower in Kenya. So normally the flocks was only available uh, in, in summertime in Holland, but now they're uh, available year round. So you can enjoy uh, seven colors of flocks or seven different varieties. You can enjoy them year round. So I think that's uh, a great addition uh, just to get the flocks uh, year round. Uh, Ido Love is in and saying, watching from Dublin, Ireland, we'll catch up later as my lunch break is finished so uh maybe next time lunch break a little bit later uh but yeah we have some uh, we have, this one is the uh we have one more after this one so uh you know you can uh, watch it later uh astrid vermeul is saying heel mooi hoor uh dankjewel astrid so i mean the contrast is is really nice as well with the dark uh, santadicia lilies um and Martin, maybe you can zoom in on uh, the different flowers, the packing material which is used. Uh, in the bouquet, we used some uh, veneer, but this is a good alternative for veneer. Oh, we see the Baltica lilies as well, the phlox, uh, Alyssa blue. Wow. Uh, it's maybe can spin it around yeah a little bit slower just turn it yeah. uh is saying prachtig bouquet mooie kleuren beautiful bouquet fantastic colors it really is and then if you see the flowers in the beginning and you think how are you going to mix this up to make it into one nice arrangement now this is how you do it where is the rope? The rope is here. I will get it to you. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's also. So, Geertje and uh, Martin are running around today. They're doing the whole show uh, together. Well, normally we have some help from uh, from Yolanda or from Tiffany as well. But uh, today it's uh, they have to do just it uh, to, together. Just the two of us, as they sometimes uh, sing. <laughs> <laughs> the two <Yes>. of us. <laughs> Vicky, he's just saying, beautiful. We all need to save those plastic strips. Yeah, it, it, it's really as simple as that sometimes. And and thank you, Geertje, for showing us all those things. I mean, as a flower shop, you get your vases in and it's packed in paper. And what do you do? The first thing, you throw it away. But now if you uh, can reuse it again, those uh, plastic straps, you can reuse it again uh and i think not a lot of people will notice at first that it's just the plastic straps which are in the bouquet it's just a beautiful uh decoration uh yolanda saying sorry ben er bij in gedachten yolanda you helped us out uh more than enough so uh, thank you very much for uh for helping and uh hey i can say something about the the white material um a lot of uh, uh centers of cities and towns and villages has pharmacies and pharmacies every every monday or every week they get a lot of boxes and a lot of uh, materials and of course they can provide you in this yeah just some free advice thank you Art. i mean it's it's as simple as that. I mean, I remember when I was still at school, uh, learning floristry, everything. Uh, I worked for a couple of weeks in, in uh, Portugal. 
and that man had a really nice flower shop but he was really good in finding materials as well so uh, sometimes just from uh, like we said garbage or upcycling things but the nice thing which i will never forget is while we were driving up to the wholesaler we stopped in the forest eucalyptus forest and just took the bark from the eucalyptus and used it in arrangements so you can in the netherlands we always say you can find the money on the streets and this is the 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 outside of the bark of the eucalyptus is the eucalyptus is a perfect example yeah christopher dyke is saying and that's a good one for uh, for halloween i made a large spider using those things as the legs oh uh, cool well, yeah yeah Awana's in and while I'm saying hello from Ireland, love the bouquet. And yeah, we're already up to the next one. Also wrapping material. Yeah, this is uh, also from the garden center. This is uh, all the rope. I found all this rope uh, in the, in the, yeah, in the garbage. It looks like a jellyfish. Yeah. It looks like yeah. a jellyfish. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Um, don't you think so, John? Like a jellyfish yeah. in the sea. Whee. Yeah, it, it also looks a bit like a wig, but that's more maybe because I'm bald. <laughs> that's fine. Oh, it's so lovely. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, all different kind of rope and um, maybe uh, the detail. Yeah, I'm yes, going to yeah, show I, some I details. Show, uh, three uh, different uh, ropes and the base uh, from, from wood and also uh, a small part of styrofoam. It's round, and then I cover it all with. Um, I glued it with uh, with rope. Okay. The top of the right. It looks way. really nice, and also using all the flowers. How did you attach the flowers? Uh, some with uh, needles, and some uh, with uh, cold glue. Where is my... What do you need? I'm here to assist. Really nice. Again, uh, using uh, all kinds of uh, flowers, the chrysanthemums, uh, the commander, again, uh, with the green heart, also the Baltica chrysanthemum, uh, also with a green heart, but it's more white. Uh, then we have uh, ornithogalum as well. I saw some of the ornithogalum eyes, as I call them, uh, also uh, glued on the uh, the arrangement. So oh, watch your eye. And we <laughs> and we have uh, the lysianthus as well. For the people new here uh, with the show, we are actually at a lysianthus grower uh, doing these shows. We're at Lucht Lysianthus. They have an experience center and. That's a very inspiring center to be. Uh, they invite a lot of florists. They do master classes uh, as well here uh, at the Experience Center. And we're really happy to be here. Uh, thank you for that, uh, Yolanda and Marcel, everybody at the Lucht uh, A great place to be. And, and like I said, very inspiring place as well. And uh, just around the corner, uh, there are so many, so many beautiful Lysianthus grown. 30 different varieties in all colors you can uh, imagine from, from brownish to black to pink, white, purple, everything there. Uh, so really nice. Uh, while Geertje starts uh, gluing the flowers. Uh, again, it's called cold glue, flower glue. There's one main rule, living materials, you use uh, cold glue and all the other materials you can use uh, the hot glue gun. And the cold glue, you have to do put some glue on it, and you wait uh, for a couple of minutes, and then you can glue it on the on the frame. Yeah, on the it dry. It takes a while to dry. While uh, Juana is asking, uh, can you give us a tip to plant in our garden lysianthus? I can give you a tip. Uh, just buy beautiful lysianthus from Van der Lucht. Enjoy them in your house. They will uh, last for two, three, four weeks, sometimes even. Uh, in your garden, the Lysianthus originally comes from uh, Mexico, very hot parts of Mexico, almost desert-like parts. Uh, 
growing in the river bedding so it needs uh, a lot of sun a lot of heat uh, or that's what it loves uh, so uh, and um, did i see where you're coming from from ireland i think you got a lot of water uh, you'll probably have some sun sometimes but it's not going to be the warmest climate so uh, as a cut flower is beautiful put, to have it in your garden in a climate like in ireland um, you can buy it as a pot plant and try it in the summertime, but otherwise it's going to be uh, uh, impossible or almost uh, impossible. Uh, Kirsten van Dijk is saying instead of cold glue, you can also use uh, wax. Uh, totally true there. Um, uh, just make sure you wait a bit so it's it's dried. Uh, we're doing it fast now because we are doing the, the online show. We want to show you as many things as possible. And to be honest, we showed you within or just over an hour, we showed you eight different designs. So normally it takes a little bit longer time. Also making a wedding bouquet takes more time, uh, more detail. Uh, while Yolanda is actually adding something to my story of the Lysiantes in the garden, it doesn't get any taller than 20 centimeters, but only in summertime. Uh, thank you uh, for adding this, uh, Yolanda. Uh, yeah, and uh, Lana is saying, uh, thank you. Probably it's better to grow in a bigger pot and keep in a house and then in the summer to plant it. Yeah, it, it, if it's cold, it, it doesn't like uh, uh, it a lot, the, the Lysiantes. But on the other hand, in your summer events, the, the really warm summer events, well, there's a wedding with 30 degrees, 40 degrees. The Lysiantes laughs at it because it loves the warm weather, while other flowers uh, think about white hydrangeas, uh, hot sun, 30 degrees plus. Uh, uh, that's not a not, not a good idea. But then maybe uh, if it's about the shape, try to find a big, big uh, disbud chrysanthemum, for example. Or uh, we have seen the size of the Baltica chrysanthemum. Maybe you can use that if you need to, uh, to make a, a wedding with a white color arrangements. Why always use uh, the white hydrangeas? Because you're taking a big risk as a as a florist. Okay, well, just want to... Almost finished. Maybe Martin, you can uh, can show us some details now as well. While uh, we've got more and more flowers now covering the the ropes. And there we are. Also, by the way, uh, a lot of people are watching. If you are a grower or a breeder and you want to uh, to show your product during uh, one of our shows, contact us and uh, who knows, we can make those uh, wonderful arrangements uh, with your flowers as well. Because look, uh, yes. it's not only uh, about the flowers, uh, the combination, I think that's that's really nice. Uh, Hendra Gauze is saying, prachtig. Uh, Sally is saying in, inspirational uh, demonstration, fabulous colors and flowers. Uh, we'll have to go out on uh, to my garbage and see what I can find. <laughs> <laughs> um, so maybe I can add add something to uh, to your information about the, the breeders uh, of the uh, floral industry. Of course, it's not alone. Not alone. Not only about flowers. We also can demonstrate plants. Yeah. We would love to work with plants as well. I think um, that's something a lot of people struggle with in flower shops as well to make it special. So if you can, uh, if you are a plant grower, uh, Martin, can you get the camera a little bit further away because I've got a big echo at the moment. Yeah. Um, if you have flower plants, maybe uh, packing material, or you want to show some some other things with which we can use during a show with uh, which other florists can use as well just contact us yeah uh, there are packaging or added value or uh, maybe you have something totally new uh, for and you want to uh, present it to a huge amount of florists yeah join flower circles we're here for you yeah uh, Anja is saying, uh, that is mooi. Uh, Vicky is saying, another beautiful design, also inspiring. Thank you. Alma is saying, uh, inspiring ideas. Thank you. 
And I think uh, you did a great job, uh, Geertje, showing those uh, wonderful designs, uh, different designs, different ideas, different uh, packing materials. I think uh, by diving into the garbage uh, the last couple of weeks, uh, <laughs> I hope you had uh, enough showers. <laughs> It's all crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but you can explain the neighbors now what you did and why you did it. And you can show those wonderful designs. Like I said, those designs you will find in our lookbook as well and on our social media. And also the links to the growers, which grow those wonderful flowers. So, uh, Geertje, thank you so much for uh, doing this, uh, making uh, all those wonderful designs. Oh, thank you. Uh, it was uh, I love to do it. And uh, oh, it was uh, yeah. It was a, uh, a good day. Yeah, it was, two very, of us. Yeah. <laughs> it was an honor to have you here yeah. again here yeah. at Flower Circus. Yeah. And of course, we hope everybody enjoyed it. And um, yeah, please join us uh, during our next show or during a live show. Like in, I'm coming to tours, and she's coming to Stockholm, so you can see yeah. us live. Yeah. So I hope to see you all again uh, soon, live or again online. Uh, the agenda is on flowercircus.nl. Thank you for all the growers uh, who sponsored the, the flowers for today. Floxen.nl, uh, Hoogboom Floxen, Deli Floor, Beyond Grisant and Lugliziantes. Thank you all for watching. Stay safe and I uh, hope to see you soon again.